Hello. How are you? Super. So just in your warm-up, think about bending, roundness, forward. Uh-huh. Yes, good boy. If he comes from one of the, you know, slap a double bridle on when they're four and teach them all the tricks, Portugal or Spain, I know what you're feeling. <laughs> I've been there, done that. A little bit of retraining, and he probably gets a little defensive sometimes, right? Mm hmm. That's a girl. Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes feel a few strides where you can bend a little more and then go back to where you are right now. So whether it's a little bit more of a shoulder in with a little more bend or a 10 meter circle, you wanna feel a little bit like you can put a little pressure on, take a little pressure off. He's a little bit, um, you wanna be careful. It's like if you boiled potatoes on the stove, I don't think anybody peels potatoes and mashes potatoes by hand anymore. There's too many ways to buy them already made in the supermarket. But <clears throat> potatoes are interesting when they start to boil and you put a lid on, they boil over really easily and make a huge mess on the stove. So he's a little bit like that boiling pot of potatoes with the lid on. So you have to have the lid on occasionally to get the potatoes cooked, but you also have to know the exact right moment to take the lid off. And then you put the lid back on. So think of him a little bit, you can feel it. When he starts to boil over, make him a little straighter, relax, kind of make things a little easier for him. And then when you feel him relax a little bit and his brain comes a little bit back to his body, then you ask a little bit more again, good. And then don't be greedy about it. Okay, if he, yeah, good. So see there where he gives right away? You don't need to hold him there, okay? Then you, good boy, okay? I ask you to give to the left rein, you did, hooray. Uh-huh, lovely. That's right, good girl. Now do a couple leg yields, like off the wall, back to the wall. Just test the go sideways aid. Don't be afraid to change the flexion. I don't care which direction he's flexed. I just want him to stay nice and round. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, so he goes a little bit better off your right leg than your left. You have to watch. Can you see in the mirror how he gets a little too much leading with his right shoulder? Good. Now keep him a little straighter on the right ring when you come off your left leg. There you go. Yes. So what happens with these Spanish guys um, is they have a lot of reach in front and not much behind at the beginning. So you have to be careful that you don't let the front end take over in some of your sideways stuff. You're always trying to get a little bit more crossing behind Mm-hmm, yes. So that direction, that was much more parallel. But you'll see on your video that he has much more crossing when he comes off of your right leg than the left. So come on the quarter line. And now try to push him more sideways, but just with the haunches. Don't let the shoulders go more sideways. Yeah, like haunches leading a little. That's a girl. Mm-hmm, good. Put the whip in your left hand, yep, and quarter line again, or give him a little tap tap this time. Keep the neck pretty straight. Mm -hmm, good, and now say, come on boy, let's cross those legs. Keep the neck straight, tap tap, over, over, come on, go, 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 more, more, yes. Once more like that, almost the feeling, Kiana, that you're pushing him out of balance.
Yes, good job. Okay, good. Super, pat him. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Nice and round. Now let's do a little canter. There, good work, yeah. Little shoulder four on the straight line. Uh-huh. Forward a little bit in the short end. Go on. And collect. Doesn't matter. No big deal. Forward. Mm -hmm. Collect. Be a little in and out quicker with your half halt. Better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he only broke because you were there a little too long. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Bending out of the corner to X, back to K. Good. Mm -hmm, good. Next long side haunches in on the long side. Mm -hmm, really push him over more. Good, perfect. Bend and give with your left rein. Mm -hmm, good, now back to shoulder four. Okay, now we're gonna ride a square up here, okay? I want you to think of each corner, little haunches in now, collect a little and turn. And now inside leg sends him forward, little haunches in, collect, turn. Left leg sends him forward, maybe make the square a little bigger so you have a little more time between the collection. Okay, keep the neck a little rounder. He needs to have the neck a little bit lower so he can use his tummy muscles a little bit more. Little haunches in. Try to collect a little before the turn. Doesn't matter, no big deal. Okay, little haunches in. Collect, collect, and now turn. Mm -hmm. Neck down, forward a bit, collect. Turn. Try to keep him round as you're turning. You've got to still use the reins to say, bend, give, bend, give, bend, give. Don't let him bring his neck up. Bend him. Bend, give, bend, give, bend, give. He's, yes, he's got to keep his neck down or his tummy doesn't work. Okay, bend, give. Neck down, neck down, neck down. Uh-huh. A little more collection, test it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Better, good girl. Mm -hmm. he, we're getting to him, his ears are going back. Good job, that was the best one, good job. Mm -hmm. That's okay, so walk for a minute and pat him. So now the turning aid is quite good, yep. But you see, now he's turning too much. That's okay, because now he's learned a little bit. So now you have to say, yay, but I have to go to my inside leg to go forward a little quicker. Make sense? So I think he's smart enough that if your outside leg is active in the collection part, that once you're turning, he's gonna follow your weight around the turn. So you probably can go back to your inside leg a little quicker. Yep, and that way he's not gonna throw his shoulder into your inside leg. Okay, let's try one or two more on the left and then we'll change on the, to the right lead. The main thing is I wanna see some collection before you turn. So it doesn't matter to me if you take longer, okay? and really use those reins to keep him round. You're still suppling, I know. You're still bending and giving and keeping him round on the right. Not to worry, no big deal. Those are small mistakes. We don't need to make a big correction for that, just that was perfect what you did.
Mm -hmm. Collect. Inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Good. Good. One more like that. Bending. Bending. Good. Inside leg. There. Woohoo. Yes. Now walk and padding. That was excellent. Uh huh. Let him have a long rain from it. Very good. Make a big fuss. But he has to understand. First of all, the collecting doesn't have anything to do with the turn. Yeah, so that's why we want to make sure we get the collection first and then we turn. Sometimes I want you just to ride down the long side and do pirouette canter without turning. Okay, because he's too smart. Okay, let's do the right lead. Take your time. <clears throat> Think a little shoulder in first. And now when you want to canter, barely use your outside leg. Swish it rather than pressing it and use your inside hip more. Keep a little shoulder in, right leg, push him to the left rein first. Perfect, that's a girl. I feel like you put your right uh, left leg back and hold it for too long, and then it pushes the haunches in, and then you're like, no, no, I want canter. And he's like, well, you're not being quite forward a little bit, you're not being quite precise enough with the aids. <laughs> I know, your life is ruined. Good, let's go down the long side and go a little forward, back, forward, back before we do our pirouette work. Mm -hmm. Forward again, good girl. Try to move your center of gravity a little more over to the right, just a little bit over off to the left. That's better. Uh-huh. That's better. Mm-hmm. Now on your circle or your square, let's do our squares again. Little collection first, a little bit haunches in. Little collection, now a little inside leg, good. Bend give, still keep a little bend give so the left rein keeps him round. Good girl. Keep him round, you can do it. Collect. Yes, he makes it hard for himself when he puts his neck up, so still keep thinking. Mm -hmm. There I wouldn't worry about it. You know, if you're gonna not have it happen, just don't try, just canter on, and then wait till you get a little more organized. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, he's gotta keep a little more right bend. Yes, better keep that right bend. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Good, keep the right bend. There. Good, good, good. Yes, good girl. Don't do one here. Don't do one here. <clears throat> keep the right bend. Good work. Keep the right bend. Yes. And forward. Don't, doesn't matter. Don't make a big deal. Don't make a big deal. Mm -hmm. Good, now go forward a little, go, go, medium canter. Oh, stop, you are just such a pill. <laughs> go on, a little forward again, good boy. That's a girl. Yep, 
Go, go. Till he gets a little bit more in front of your leg. That's it. Mm-hmm. He seems to be the best when he has his ugly face on. Now go to K and do a little pirouette canter and a little square turn here in this corner. Mm-hmm, good. Medium canter. Good, collect it, a little right bending. Prepare. Mm-hmm, super good boy. That's a good job. Not to worry, not to worry. I should have let you quit over here in this corner when he was good, but I didn't, so now we have to do one more. That was my bad. Sorry, Kiana, my bad. Uh-huh, good girl. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Forward once more and then trot. Good girl. Well done. That's right. Good, good. And then let him have a little walk break. Well done. I think it's super, super important with him because you're, you know, you didn't start with him with a clean blackboard. And it's so much easier when you have a clean blackboard and you know, even though you're gonna make mistakes, they're your mistakes, you know what they are, so you know sometimes more where the problems come from, right? When you have a horse that you didn't train originally and there's, his blackboard's been written on, erased, and written on, and erased, every so often something happens and you're like, whoa, where'd that come from? You know, and who knows, but it's past history stuff. So sometimes when you, are not sure where that stuff comes from, you're better off just to ignore it, keep riding forward, try not to make a big correction, because oftentimes that creates a lot of fighting. And I have the feeling a little bit that <clears throat> he could do that with you. You know, he would be happy to have a good fight and not do any work. <laughs> so, you know, you just have to keep that nice attitude of, okay, he made a mistake, whatever, I'm not gonna make a big issue of it. I'm just going to go forward again, and we're just going to get it all organized. Yeah. Okay, makes a lot more sense. But I think this exercise for him is a good place to start the pirouettes because he needs to be able to collect a little bit without getting hollow and without stopping altogether. So you don't want to do too many pirouettes, and by doing a little haunches in, for him, you're able to keep him a little rounder, okay? If you get him too straight, you don't have the tools to keep him round. So. So let's do a couple of our trot half passes. So remember what we did yesterday. First, we learned how to bend the neck, ride the half halt, so we have to make sure we have that first. And then we'll do a couple of half passes from the rail to center line. Now yesterday you had tons of bend at the end and it looked gorgeous. So we wanna to try to keep that idea. 